Hello and welcome. We will be learning about the newly released Pearl Counter, a wireless battery powered smart beam technology. This device comes packed with the latest features to enhance accuracy as well as ease of installation and use. Not to mention the ability to have control over your location's performance with the My Store on the Go app or leveraging our advanced SaaS software platform, TMAS. In each box you will receive the following. A main sensor, a secondary sensor, along with an SMS tool. You will receive a card with instructions to follow, which will lead you to view the tutorial video about the installation and setup. The QR codes will link directly to the App Store for your device in order to download the free mobile app. Also, you will receive an SMS tool, which will aid you in enabling the setup mode for each device. Each sensor, the main and secondary sensor, has an indicator on the top of the casing. The mounting brackets are already connected to the side mounting installation. The case is secured with screws to prevent tampering. Each sensor comes with four AA batteries pre-installed and the mounts as well are secured to prevent the device from being knocked or removed easily. Installation is made quick and easy with the adhesive tape on the mounts. Other tools you need are a pencil, screwdriver and a tape measure. Alternatively, if you don't make use of the sticky tape, you'll need some mounting screws and plugs. The storetraffic.com app required for Pearl can be downloaded from either of the following locations. The Google Play Store for Android devices or the App Store for Apple mobile devices. Simply go to Google Play or the App Store and search for store traffic. Once you've found the app and started the download, it takes just a quick minute to install. While we're waiting, if you haven't already, it would be a good time to get anything you need indicated in the previous video to set up the sensors. Once the installation is completed, just click on open or launch the app. You'll be greeted by terms and conditions. Make sure you read through them carefully and agree in order to continue. Once you've installed the SMS Smart App, you'll need to create your account. Select Create Account and proceed to input your email address, which will act as your login user. Indicate your preferred language as well as input the other required information about yourself. Once done, press submit. A confirmation message will appear asking you to confirm if your email is correct. If everything is all good, you'll receive an email from our software to finish configuring your account. Proceed to your inbox to look for the welcome email. Open it and take note of the username and copy it as you'll need it on the next screen. Press the configure your password button. You'll be prompted to open a link in a browser and you can zoom with your device if it's difficult to see. Paste or input your username and then indicate a password conforming to the rules and then input the password again to confirm. When done, press configure your password. Your password is now being created and your account is configured. You can now toggle back to the SMS Smart App and log in. Give yourself a pat on the back as you've now successfully signed into the app.
When logging into the app for the first time, you'll be greeted by a message indicating that your chain is not set up. Please proceed to press the chain setup to input information about your business. Continue by completing the required fields. The name field is used to identify your business and it's best to use your build to name or your business brand name. It's important to input the address of the business correctly as this may be used by the SMS Smart app to provide data such as the weather. If you have a single location or your head office is located in the same location as where your Perl counter will be installed, leave the generate the store box checked. Otherwise, if your office and store location have different names or addresses, then uncheck the box. By unchecking the box, you will be required to perform an additional step of creating the location after you've completed defining your company. Once you're done and the information is correct, press create location. Next, after creating your location, you will be prompted to input its business hours. You will need to define when the location opens and closes for each business day using an hour selection wheel and a 24 hour clock. Business hours is very important as this will define when the Pearl sensor is actively operating and reporting traffic. Outside business hours, the Pearl will remain in a low power state to conserve battery consumption and prolong battery life. Press save your business hours once you've completed defining them. This now completes the chain setup wizard. To add a device, you need to locate the location that you want to link it to. Once located, press the location settings. Then, select the device list. If there are any previously connected devices, they will be displayed here. Since this is your, your first, none are appearing. Press add a new device to continue. Label your Pearl by providing the name of typically where it is located. Then proceed to select your desired setup with or without the install instructions. Open the box and take out the equipment. In addition, you will need a pencil, a tape measure, and possibly a screwdriver if you need to install the sensors in a front-facing bracket setup. Next, you will need to pull out the battery tab of each sensor for them to power on. Once the battery tab is removed, a green light will go on indicating the sensor is booting up. Next, you will need to select how you will be installing the sensors. Out of the box, the sensors and mounts are already connected for side mounting. In this video, we will be using side mounting as it is the most common setup. If you select front mounting from the app, it will show you how to reconnect the mounts which will require you to use a screwdriver. Next, you'll need to use the SMS tool in order to activate the setup mode. This mode will remain active for only 10 minutes, which indicated by the light on the sensors. It is highly recommended to only set up one pair of sensors at a time, as this could lead to conflicts. Measure and mark the sensor placement at approximately 54 inches high. Then peel the tape and affix the secondary sensor to the right side at about an inch from the wall cord. Place the main sensor on the left side of the entrance, an inch from the corner, and align until the light is solid green. Mark the placement with a pencil. Then proceed to peel the tape and affix the sensor permanently to where you'd marked with a pencil. Use your fingers to firmly press the sensor in place. Good job.
Before configuring the Perl for your Wi-Fi network, let's ensure we've not reached a timeout. Press the button once on the master light is still on. Next you'll need to use the SMS tool in order to activate the setup mode. This mode will remain active for only 10 minutes, which indicated by the light on the sensors. During this step, the Perl will be broadcasting its access point for Wi-Fi network setup. There will be a solid light on the main sensor during this time. Press allow or join if prompted to a message. Then proceed to input your location's Wi-Fi network, SSID, and password so that the Perl will be able to communicate with the SMS Cloud software. Checking off advanced will allow you to configure the Perl with static network addresses, as by default it is in DHCP mode. Press link to network to program your Perl. Take note of the MAC address in the event you need to provide this to your network administrator. If the programming and communication is successful, you will receive a message and the device will now appear in the device list. Congratulations, you've now added the device. You will need to allow a couple of hours to pass before seeing traffic populate in the application, as the Perl will now start counting and report to the software at the top of each hour.